if he does win this game, I think that this will be the linchpin because he does all he needs to do with this. He needs to steal a couple of raiders, maybe a Kodo, and then I'm trying to keep them safe while getting up off a couple of ensnares. And uh, if you can, if you can get an ensnare on, say, a blade master, and then just constantly coil Nova him and stuff like that, it can actually be very effective and it can be very hard to counter because it's not something you generally see. But Ted, meanwhile, with only one of Grubby's units at this point, one Berserker, and that was just because of those very nice stomps from um, Grubby. Um, combined with the high level Torn Chief and then the um, high DPS from Grubby, uh, as well just from ob obviously those Berserkers in um, Berserker form is pretty is um, pretty high DPS. And uh, Grubby now scanning out this one, um, uh, this army now coming in, obviously with the acolytes in front just to take a b just to um, do a bit of damage. But uh, Grubby now getting dusted as well. I'm surprised that uh, Ted still doesn't uh, have a shade nearby. But uh, Grubby knowing that this is an all-in push for Ted, so he can afford to waste a bit of an economy on a watchtower. If it goes up, then it's very useful in defending his sort of essential expansion. And if it doesn't, then um, and then it's something that Ted, Ted's had to waste his time attacking. And uh, meanwhile, some pretty nice placement here by uh, a Ted of the uh, uh, Pocket Factory, forcing Grubby to run back a bit, but using a speed scroll and just um, and trying to get as good positioning as possible. <coughs> and um, Ted, meanwhile, uh, moving his, um, as you can see, moving all his... Uh, Banshee's around, trying, trying to steal a couple of units now. Does manage to steal um, one Berserker there, and it uh, looks like he does manage to steal a Raider as well. Doesn't manage to steal a Kodo, unfortunately. And uh, meanwhile, Ted being forced down to a couple of units, only a couple of units left. A couple, um, sort of really a ragtag army at this point. And Grubby actually down with his, um, some very low um, some very low units as well, but still managing to micro out a couple of his units right, quite nicely, like, like that low hit point Spirit Walker there. And um, Grubby now taking a lot of damage actually on a lot of his units. You should probably get these raiders out of here at this point. There's not really much more that they can do. And uh, level 6 down on the Torrent Chieftain, obviously reincarnation tremendously effective if you can make the most of it. <clears throat> but if um, the Torrent Chieftain is all that left, then it's not that useful. And Ticker now being forced down to a very low hit point. Obviously, plus some um, 3 armor from that Frost Armor is going to be very nice for him. And this could help him get away if he wants to, as well as the Aura is going to be um, very useful for getting away. And this one low uh, Kodo now Ted f has been stolen by Ted and has managed to eat a Berserker as well. So some very nice play there by Ted, managing to get, uh, managing to call off of Grubby's um, Raider as well. And so it's sort of turning um, this game around a bit for um, him. But um, Grubby knows that he has a bit of time. He just needs to, um, he, he needs to heal up all these really low units. Obviously with Spirit Link, it's not too hard to get a couple low units out. And he does need to heal it, do that before Ted manages to take out this expansion, though. And Grubby now coming in, taking out this very low Kodo. Uh, does manage to take it out. Yep, there we go. And uh, now going for this Tinker immediately and bringing in the rest of his army. He is st still very low hit points, but his uh, Torn Chieftain is a bit higher hit points now. And does manage to get a stomp off, and uh, that Tinker does go down. And so um, Ted probably will want to get out of here and try and regroup and uh, try and move back in before Grubby can heal. But <clears throat> um, Grubby, um, or, or Ted getting his Lich stomped now, he does still have an inbound pot, so he should be able to get out of here and um, come back when he's um, got a bit more mana and whatnot. And uh, he has managed to do a lot of damage now, but it looks like he is just sticking around a bit longer. And uh, Ted now losing, um, going to lose one more fiend by the looks of things. Uh, actually managing to get out of here, I'm surprised no one's there there, but Grubby and Sarah actually being used on the statue, trying to take that out instead. And um, Blade Master level 6, but being focused down as well. But it is now, um, is now uh, having to run away. Ted does lose that one statue, and uh, uh, Ted's still with, only with a couple of heroes left, but it's, it's just so hard to take down these heroes, because obviously between Frost Armor and Aura and, uh, and um, Coil, it's just you can do a lot with that. And uh, as you can see, Grubby's been forced back at this point. <clears throat> he will need to heal up. He might be salving up as well, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, he is salving up on his Blade Master. He has bought a healing potion as well, and he will be trying to move in as soon as possible because he doesn't want to lose any of these um, peons, really. And um, meanwhile, uh, Grubby is now uh, coming in. He is trying to kill, take down this uh, Death Knight, who does now coil the Lich. But uh, Death Knight, with obviously with the aura, will be able to um, make a decent attempt to escape. Uh, and it uh, looks like. Uh, Grubby uh, indecisive as to which he hero to try and stop, uh, to try and stomp, and uh, doesn't actually manage to get it. And so, um, uh, this Death Knight will live to fight another day, and this uh, low Lich will uh, be, be coiled just before the Blade Master can come in and try get a couple more hits off, and uh, get to critical off. And now uh, the uh, Torn Chief is coming in, managing to pull alongside. Doesn't manage to get a stomp though. Does have enough mana for one, and uh, doesn't unfortunately doesn't manage to keep up with the Lich, and so the Lich will will get away, but Grubby actually being very clever here, bringing the Torn Chieftain around the outside and uh, bringing it right up uh, down to the um, Torn Chieftain, managing to get a very nice stomp, it's very hard to stomp a moving unit, and uh, managing to kill that, and there's a GG from Ted, so Grubby's going to go to the finals now, and we'll play Moon for um, $14,000, I think, for first place, so um, I'll see you there, folks, I might do one game from that, we'll see.